So I'm Isaiah Bowser. Uh, I transferred here from Northwestern uh, last year. I play running back at UCF. Oh, I really enjoy working with kids. Um, I have a little brother who's 12, so I've, I've kind of always worked, uh, you know, worked with him on various things. Uh, my name is Mikey Keene. I play quarterback for the UCF Knights. And for Mike, it's one he won't soon Oh, I, I've worked with kids before, but the opportunity is rare because of just how busy our schedules are. But when opportunities like this present itself, it's even, it's sweeter because getting to work with kids, I mean, that's kind of just, that's, all, that's every athlete's dream is to kind of inspire the younger generation because we had those athletes to look up to when we were older. And My name is Matt Lee. I uh, play center for UCF. It's just a lot of fun because, you know, kids are innocent, man, and they love the game, they love football, and, you know, they'll, they'll go hard when you coach them, and they'll, they'll do what you tell them, and it's lo I love working with them and being able to create relationships and hopefully give them something, whether it's in football or life, that maybe they'll remember that can help them later on. Yeah, so I was just teaching the kids uh, quarterback 101 ideas, catching the ball from the center, uh, taking a three-step drop is what we worked on today. And I just tried breaking it down into simplified terms of how big your steps would be, um, why you're taking those steps, and how those steps are going to allow you to be able to throw the ball and throw it accurately, too. Uh, we got a chance to talk to the kids, um, just kind of give them some words of advice, you know, because they're getting older, getting into middle school, high school, whatnot. Thanks for the one thing I told them that I think if I want them to take away one thing would be uh, work hard. Um, academics, you gotta you gotta have good grades to get even looked at to play high school football or college football, so that's important. And then I also share with them just hanging out with the right friend friend group. It's just cool to see someone that was in your spot uh, doing what they're doing now and doing what you're dreaming to do. So seeing it that it can happen is it's really cool for these kids for sure. Uh, growing up and watching all the UCF players as a kid and kind of like idolizing them, looking up to them, um, and then. Now today, uh, I'm kind of in the same position then, however many years later, it's just, it's just a crazy feeling. I just love my parents, so that's what I, I pretty much just told them to listen to their parents, listen to their coaches, listen to the people that want their best interest. When we train Orlando North, we play Orlando North. Game on. Oh shoot, golf, golf has kind of like been like a recent deal. I also like to uh, play, go to Top Golf and play golf. Um, we have a good time doing that, competing out there. We're, none of us are very good, so it's it's a good, it's it's fun. Yeah, what do I do in Seminole County? Um, I think various things like I like going outdoors a lot, so I'll head to the Econ or to Wakiva in the Springs and whatnot, enjoy those. Seminole County is a very unique place because just of all the opportunities that it has within it. Seminole County is a great place to be and just it should be appreciated how, how diverse they are with the activities that they provide. 